going, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com website, guitar lessons, you know the drill. Anyway, I'm going to teach you kind of a bossa nova rhythm. Now, before the haters jump on me about the bossa nova stuff, it's just the introductory rhythm, as well as the fact that I know that um, bossa nova really sounds best on nylon strings, and this is a steel string, so it's not really the most correct guitar, and I acknowledge that. But this is a fun little rhythm to learn, and uh, I don't have an nylon string guitar. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get to the lesson. Real quick, I have a bunch of free apps that you can check out. The link below this box. Let's get to the lesson. Okay, there's a couple cool things about this lesson, even if you're not interested in bossa nova, and that is this uh, minor 9 chord that I'm going to teach you. This chord I'm playing is called an E minor 9, and it starts with your middle finger on the root of the A string. So... <laughs> I'm up here on the seventh fret, then I get my index finger, and this is a little tricky, boom, to the fifth fret, so it's a bit of a stretch. Then my ring finger is on the seventh fret of the G, and my pinky is on the seventh fret of the B, and you get this chord. And you can substitute that for E minor. you want. And that was just the D minor shape up a whole step to play E minor as well. See, just, just a little trick there. So that's the minor 9 chord. And now we're going to work on a little right hand rhythm. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do kind of a claw here. So we've got the thumb, index, middle and ring just on this little middle set of strings here and we're going to start with all of them plucked followed by these three fingers on the chords without the root so it's like see that Okay, so we've done two moves. We've got that, then we've got that. Then I'm taking my middle finger and I'm moving it over to the low E string with my thumb and I'm hitting that bass note by itself. Just like that. Stretch my hand out here a little bit. So immediately following that thumb on the bass, I'm playing that chord again. So we have... And there's, there's variations on this, but that is the starting point. And so the one that I'm probably do the most would be like. So right after that and the chord, I'm just kind of knocking my knuckle down for kind of like a rhythmic sound. Like. So that's the basic idea. And the other thing I did was I just went to the minor four chord of E minor. It would be all the way up here to the 12th fret for A minor.
fun with that. All right, maybe you gotta, got that down, you can add it to your arsenal of rhythm skills. Uh, remember, I have some free apps, link below, free tuner, chord books, stuff like that. It's all free, you can check it out. We'll see you in another lesson real soon, I hope, and thanks for the support. See you later.